Hey everybody. I uh, recently won a contest through a company called MJR Tumblers. They are currently tumbling about 25 pounds of Uperlites for me um, so I can have some nice super shiny Uperlites. And I thought if they were going to do something like that for me, then I would support their company by ordering one of their tumblers. I ordered the 40 pound tumbler and it just arrived today. Ordered it like three days ago here already. Really fast shipping, so I like that so far. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing video for everybody. Um, show you what comes in the box. So I ordered 40 pound tumbler plus uh, a grip package for a 40 pound tumbler. So today all I'm gonna do is unbox it. Let's see what's inside. So unbox it right up from the top here. And if anybody wants to know the website, it's mjrtumblers.com. We're going to have to get a garbage bag for all the peanuts here. Give me one second. This video is semi-short and not too long. Since all we're doing is showing you what came in the bag. Or what came in the box, I mean. Got a bunch of packing peanuts. And it looks like the grit pack is right on top here. So... With something on top here, some stickers. Let's see what else is in this bag. Looks like I got a, a statement from MJR Tumblers. Oh, something with their phone number. So if you guys want to try to call them, there's their phone number 815 516 1288. There's a couple of stickers in here that up so you can see it. Another little sticker. And that's the Super Polish Grit 1500 in that bag. There's a big bag of grit in there. So that's for one run through the 40 pound tumbler. We'll put that off to the side. And this looks like all the other grit packs. So here's like the, the 6080 I think in here. Go check it out. Let's see what all's in here. So I did order in my grit pack, I ordered the, the pellets, and these are for cushioning. I'm going to wait and watch the video that they do about tumbling new lights to see if they use pellets or not, so I don't know if I'll end up using these or not, but I'm going to try to do my tumbles exactly the same way they tumble their stuff. So this is the course, it says course step one right on there. So that's the lowest grit. Another bag, of course. You must have to put two bags in for this big of a tumbler. And then this is step two. Doesn't say the grit on it. And then another bag of step two here, it looks like. Yep. Step two again. Then pre-polish step three. And then polish step four. And then I wonder what this is here. This one was super polished, so that's gotta be like step five, I would taking it. So hopefully there's some directions in here. Oh yeah, this is uh, where the, the thing with the phone number on it has all the steps on how to, to tumble everything. So that's pretty cool. But these guys are also at MGR Tumblers. They're doing a full video line on YouTube about how to tumble Uperlites. So um, I expect that to be out in the next month or so. And that'll be really cool because then I'll know exactly how to tumble Uperlites and you guys to see how to exactly do it too. So here I'm gonna get a bunch of these peanuts out and then we'll pull this machine out. There are a lot of peanuts in this box. And I'd rather not get them all over my showroom. I'm super excited to see the tumbled Uper lights that these guys do for me. This is a very big barrel. 40 pound barrel. Get all the tape and 
stuff off of it. Very big plastic barrel. So there's the 40 pound barrel. It's a lot bigger than my uh, little 25 pound barrels. And the lid and the supporting strap are on the top here. If I can get it out. So you have a nice big rubber lid and then you have a nice containment strap. So these kind of straps are cool, kind of like for your plumbing, for like a, a heater vent. You screw it tight, screw that around here. Come here, we'll put it right on the way you're supposed to go. I don't know if it'll go on with the without loosening it. Oh, here we got it. So I know a little bit about tumbling, but not a whole lot. I do have some tumblers, and I've tumbled some Uper lights at 80 grit, but I've never went up higher than the 80 grit. So I'd have to loosen this to actually put it on, put it on, but that's what it looks like when you... So there's the tumbling. And as you can see inside of there, there's ribs in there. And why would there be ribs inside of a tumbler? Well, those ribs make it so stuff doesn't stick to the sides. So that was one of the reasons I went with this company because they seem to be building very sturdy tumblers where a lot of the tumblers you get like from Harbor Freight and stuff, they work for a couple times, but then all you're doing is replacing barrels and replacing bearings and everything else. They just can't handle big loads. So I wanted something that could do a lot of poundage at once because I could, sell a lot of tumbled duper lights and if I can do a 40 pound batch at a time or even 25 pounds it'd be really nice because it takes about six weeks so all right we got some big pieces of foam coming out now and then a whole bunch of these peanuts so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump these right into my garbage bag I got going on here see if I can't just get rid of a whole bunch of peanuts get down to that tumbler. Looks like I am close. A whole bunch of peanuts. They did pack this very well. I can say that. Very, very well. Get all the peanuts off the floor. Anybody that knows me knows that uh, packing peanuts are my nemesis. I can't stand them. <laughs> I try not to never use them. I use bubble wrap instead. But they do a good job. All right. So I'll take you guys and let you see inside the box here. So you can see the, the tumblers all packed in there. We're going to pull her out now. Try to pull it out of the box. And then watch me struggle. There we go. There's a whole bunch more peanuts on the bottom. And the box is full. So, we'll get this out. And wherever I put my scissors at, see if I can't find them. Hmm, where did I set my scissors? Oh, way up here. That's a nice foam. Can use for something else. Aha! And an operator's manual. That's super nice. I'll tell you all about it. We'll go through all of it now. It's got a two year warranty. It tells you how to polish different things. I'll do all sorts of stuff. Look at that. You're always 5% cheaper than the lowest price on Amazon and eBay for all your rock tumbling needs. That's really cool to know for grit and that kind of stuff these guys sell the best price on grit that's where you want to get it from 
and any company that'll do stuff like what they've done for me for free I'll endorse them all day long hopefully I really like the tumble which I'm anticipating I will and I'll really be trying to promote these guys even more Oh, my room and my garbage is here. All right, so I need scissors one last time. Well, that's probably not good, but we got all the, the foam out. Nice solid steel unit. Not uh, flimsy in the least. Nothing like one of the Harbor Freight units. Got the roller bars here. It's got nice rubber on each one of them. So you could put anywhere from probably three of the little tumblers on here, the three bit, three smaller barrels. Probably put right on this same uh, tumbler. So that's great. So that's what she looks like. Get her a little closer, maybe, or farther away. Get it farther away so you guys can see it all there. And then once we put the, the lid on, that's how it should go. And we could try plugging it in, I suppose. We'll see how quiet or how loud it is. Oops, scissors one more time. Get this last zip lock tie off there. And the wonder is there an on and off switch somewhere? Or is it just plug in, plug in, plug in? It must just be a plug in type. Well, no on and off switch, but runs very quiet. You can barely hear that sucker. That's very nice. I, I don't know how big the motor is. I'll have to find out. But yeah, it's, it seems like it's all steel construction, really nice ball bearings, there's nothing jiggling back and forth, it's really smooth, runs on a belt instead of a chain. My other big steel one like this runs on a chain, and it's about a 25 pound tumbler. So yeah, this is really cool, so uh, check back with me in, I don't know, a month or so, maybe I'll have some Euphorites all tumbled up for you guys. See you guys later.